Hi, my name is Karel Hutgebeur, I'm from Belgium and I am the owner of Adolf Sachs & Company and the initiator of a special event that is part of the Sachs for Packs project. Sachs for Packs is a project where we recycle World War I and II battlefield artillery shells and turn it into new sheet metal in order to create a limited edition series of 193 saxophones. In 2018 I acquired an original Nazi saxophone. I didn't really know what to do with it and I actually came close to recycle it and melt it down together with the artillery shells. Until I discovered a Nazi propaganda poster from the 30s. It depicts a person of color with a Star of David on the chest, playing a saxophone. Underneath in German it says, Degenerate Music. Hitler really hated jazz. He called it Degenerate judeo negro Music. And Jews, they were banned from playing music. That poster inspired me. Combining almost all people groups that were put in the camps by Hitler, I decided to start looking for a black, Jewish, disabled, communist, lesbian, transgender woman with gypsy blood and a criminal record. And have her play jazz on the Nazi saxophone. Call me crazy, but I actually started looking for her, but I couldn't find her. And that's where my friend John comes into the picture. A little over 30 years ago, he was an anti-racist skinhead, until his group was forcefully recruited by a large neo-Nazi skinhead organization. They made clear that refusing was not an option. When they discovered his Jewish identity, they plotted his assassination. Yet he survived and testified in court. About 12 years later, John was diagnosed with a brain tumor, and until this day he has been fighting the cancer. John now travels around the world as a motivational speaker. He works with various groups, educating them and helping them to understand the mechanisms of hatred and extremism, challenging them to fight for change and make the world a better place. Long story short, I decided that he would be my black, Jewish, disabled, communist, lesbian, transgender woman with gypsy blood and a criminal record. I mean, he's a Jewish former neo-Nazi, and during brain surgery they had to remove the rhythm section of his brain, making it virtually impossible to play music. He has epilepsy and is slightly paralyzed on one side. That's quite a challenge. And John, he's always up for a challenge. In the summer of 2021, John came back to Belgium trying to learn to play the saxophone. From the beginning, we decided to use the music of George Gershwin. Gershwin was a Jewish composer who died of a brain tumor when he was 38 years old. We selected the song Embrace Blue You. As expected, that wasn't easy. He went at it day in, day out, sometimes three to four hours a day, to the point of exhaustion. He had no musical experience whatsoever, and because of the missing section in his brain, he doesn't feel rhythm and music. We had to find a way for John to understand what and how he had to play. To make it even more complicated, we asked our Arab friend Hassan to join and accompany John on guitar. Though far from perfect, the hard work paid off. We wanted this event to take place in a special location and got the permission to hold it in Caserne de Saint. During World War II, it functioned as an SS transit camp. Over 25,000 Jews and hundreds of gypsies were deported, put on trains, headed to Auschwitz. A trip few ever returned from. For this event, we picked a symbolic date, September 1st, because Hitler invaded Poland in September 1st, 1939, and this Nazi saxophone is from 1939. A Jew on a Nazi sax playing a jazz song by a Jewish composer together with an Arab, in a place that testifies of the horrors from the past. Nie wieder? Never again? I really hope so. What are you doing to make things better? You want change? You begin change. <laughs>